So today I wanted to do a video about self-respect. And this is an interesting topic. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Everyone talks about how respect is earned. So if you want somebody else to respect you, then you need to act in a respectable manner so that people will have a reason to want to respect you. But I'm going to submit this idea to you. If you want to respect yourself, you need to earn that respect too. Now, let me explain this. So if you... We, well, we all have basically a, a, a tendency to measure ourselves all the time. We may not want to admit it, but you look in the mirror every morning and you say to yourself, you know, what kind of person am I? And people consider this, you know, continually. And you have to ask yourself, well, what kind of person am I? Am I a better person today than I was yesterday? You know, how did I treat someone that maybe didn't act as well as they should have? And maybe I went overboard and didn't treat them well. And there's a, there's a lot so much to consider so here's the biggie you know take stock in yourself and look at yourself and ask yourself am i a person that if i if it wasn't me if i if i met me on the street would i respect me you know that's a really good question to ask because that's going to make a big difference in how you look at yourself so what i would tell you is that sitting down with a piece of paper and a pencil and making two lists is a good idea. List number one is all the things about yourself that you like. List number two, the things that you're not so happy with. And then each day, make an effort to put a check mark over on the stuff that you've corrected and make list two become list one. In other words, make it to where the things that you're not so happy about that you're doing something about them. Now, you're not going to fix everything in one day, but you can make a difference. And the big deal is you're going to respect yourself when you earn the respect from yourself, when you treat people right, when you do the right thing, when you tell the truth. A lot of folks struggle with that one, telling the truth. Yeah. But if you look at yourself, if you're honorable, if you're a good person, then you're going to tell the truth. You know, it's not that hard to do. You tell the truth. You do what's right when somebody else isn't looking. That's another one. That's about being honorable. Then it doesn't matter that somebody else hasn't seen what you've done. It's not about them. It's about you knowing that you did the right thing. Then you will respect you. See what I mean? It's not too complicated. It's just that it really matters what your opinion of yourself is. And if you want to have self-respect, you need to earn that respect from yourself. You need to be a good person. You need to make an effort to do the right thing. Another thing is, take a look at the folks around you that treat you well, that are good to you. Because this, this is something I see quite often. I'll see somebody who's, they'll clamor after, after the attention of people that don't treat them well. But people that do treat them well then they'll just kind of blow them off and ignore them. Well, I mean, he's always nice to me. She's always nice to me. So I'm just going to be, you know, I just expect it. Oh, no, no, no. That's not cool. There's nothing cool about that whatsoever. When somebody treats you with respect and they're good to you and they're kind to you and they bend over backwards to help you, that person is your friend. That person is somebody that's, you know, especially if they, out of their little, because some people don't have a whole lot, but they'll still take what they have and share it with you. That's a good person. You know, and that person cares about you, and they're showing it, not in what they say, but in what they do, right? So ask yourself, am I showing that person the respect that they deserve. Do I call that person and tell them how much I appreciate them? Do I spend time with that person? You know, or do you go spend time with somebody else who's not really doing anything for you, not being good to you? You weigh it out yourself. Cuz think about that. The way you treat others is also one of those things that will determine how much you respect yourself. If you're a good person, then you're going to treat others right. And you're going to be really kind to those that are kind to you. That's where it starts. Be good to those that are good to you. Then you can go be good to the ones who aren't so good to you. That's a little bit higher level of doing the right thing. 
But when you've got people that are family, friends, people that are around you that are really good people, the ones that will go out of their way, go the extra 10 yards to help you, even when it hurts them to do it, and they love you and they care about you, are you showing them as much respect, love, and care back as they're showing you? Really ask yourself that. Because if you want to have self-respect, again, you got to earn it. you got to earn it from yourself. And you're going to earn it by the way that you act and the things that you do that you know are the right thing to do. Right? Then, whenever you're doing that, you can start respecting yourself. And guess what? The more self-respect you have, it'll change the way you act on an even larger scale. And next thing you know, other people will respect you as well. But the first person that's got to respect you is you. So that means you're going to have to make an effort to be the best version of you that you can be. And that means every day you've got to wake up with the attitude that I'm going to be a little bit better version of myself today than I was yesterday. Is it an easy thing to do? Uh, not really. Because there's going to be days that you don't want to do that. You know, but you got to make that choice. you got to make that choice for yourself. But start with that. Start trying to be a little better person each day, better than the one that you were yesterday. And just remember the ones around you that are good to you. Because those people that care about you, they don't have to be good to you. They don't have to care about you. They don't have to love you. There is no, there's no taskmaster behind them beating them with a stick saying, you're going to love this person and be good to them. No, they do that of their own free will. And when a person loves and cares about you, and they make that choice to care about you and to be good to you. And you don't show equal care, love, and concern back to that person. That speaks a lot about what kind of person that you are. And again, are you going to have any self-respect if you're mistreating those that are kind to you? Probably not. So stop and do that. And if you want people in your life that are good people, stop chasing after the crummy ones. The world's full of jerks and people that they are not worth your time. Stop chasing those people. You know, good people come across your path all the time. Learn to recognize good people. Learn to be a good person. And when you're around good people, be good to them in return. You know something? There's no rule saying that somebody has to love you. And when somebody does love you and when they do care about you, maybe you should love them and care about them in return. Just a thought for the day. Y'all have a good one. Keep it real.